Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and in this video, we're going to be completing our two part series on using MySQL in Drupal. In the first part, we took a look at what a database was, and then we looked at what a query is. We discussed how Drupal handles database interactions and how that's different than the default PHP methods, and then we looked at a few tools for browsing database content in tables with a nice graphical interface. We wrote our first select query and then we made it a little bit more complex by adding some more parameters to it. And in this video we're going to be starting off by bringing together multiple tables with a left join. Okay, let's get started. But if there were more, what we should see is that the NID should go descending, so it should go 10987654 and so on. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more complex examples that build on top of this but allow us to select from multiple tables at once. Pretty soon after you start using select queries, you're going to realize that often the data that you're looking for doesn't exist in one table alone. Say, for example, you want to grab some information about nodes, but you also want information about the users that created those nodes. So if we're going to use techniques that we've already learned in this lesson, what we could do is string together database queries in order to get that information. So in that while loop where we're fetching rows from our result from the node table, Every time we fetch a row, what we do is run another select query that selects a individual row from the users table that corresponds to the UID of the user that created that node. So every time we fetch a row from our result set, we run another query to grab that user information. Now that's inefficient because every time we want run through that row, we're running another query and that can be a heavy load on the server depending on how many times this particular query is being loaded. So there's a better way and that's where joins come in. Let's take a look at these examples. So here we're starting the query very similarly to our previous example. We're creating a result variable and we're signing it the return value of the DB query function and then we're passing it the query. The first line of this query should look pretty familiar. It's very similar to our previous example with one notable exception. And that that's each database column is prefixed with a letter and a dot. So what's happening here is that when we join multiple tables together, it's possible that there are columns in each table that are have the same name as the other table. So in this case, since we're drawing from the node table, and the users table, both tables have a column called UID. So it pays to be specific about what column is being pulled from which table. And the way we do that is 